what's up, sexies? Happy Tuesday. Man, something else, ain't it? So, you know, I've talked to several of you about uh, talking about our prison, talking about our minds, and seeing how we can change our aspects, our points of view, you know, maybe even our ambitions to achieve what we truly desire. And, you know, it's going to take some digging to get there. I don't truly know how many videos I'm going to go through with the mind, but as many as it takes. So, starting, you know, as a child, you know, we were all born artists, but the hard part about growing up is learning how to keep your artistry, learning how to continue to paint something magnificent. And we know the challenges that we face as we go through this life. And... The world's more chaos than we want it to be anymore. And if that's the case, you know, if chaos is becoming the new masterpiece, then thousands of us have hearts that are worth millions. So, as most of us have been drugged to the mud, as most of us have found hardships throughout our journeys, you know, we try to find a brighter side when sometimes, you know, it doesn't seem like there's a brighter side. It's all a power of the mind. You know, the mind contains two parts, the left and the right, imagination and reality. And they coincide with each other. They use one to fill the gaps in for the other, per se, where you have a harsh reality that's been put into your life. You don't have all the answers you wanted to for the situation. So the imagination side fills in the gaps for the reality don't know how it's truly going to fill it in or how it's going to affect you but for most of us it fills it in with thoughts of being unwanted or unworthy maybe not up to standard as what society would consider but you know it's all about seeing the truth and as hard as that is for us sometimes you know seeing the truth could be right in front of you however just like that the truth disappears and it's no longer in front of you you know to read to listen to understand, to see and observe. It makes a soul a thousand years old in a world that's so young to all of us. So immature, so misunderstood. And, you know, sometimes we need that reality check in our lives to understand and appreciate what's real and what is good. That way we can continue on this journey. So that way we can achieve our own success and our own greatness. And just like that, the truth and the reality comes right back to us you know it's easy to get lost there's no doubt about that it's easy to be blind to what it may actually be because we choose so much to want to see the good and not understand the bad but as it stands you know a lot of people go through here and put out nothing but bad you know they call it gossip you know, gossip is a travesty you know, it's one thing to pity paddle and talk about funny stuff or things that happen this, that way or the other. But to talk about people, it's just wrong. You steal someone's honor, their dignity, their everything in just a few simple words. And that's something that you never get back. You can never give them back that. Because now that person tells somebody else and that person tells somebody else. And, you know, now that rumor is gone as we would all consider it worldwide. Everybody knows our problems. Everybody knows what's wrong with us and why we're undesirable. When maybe it was a facet lie to begin with. You know, you gotta be careful. You know, if you slip and fall, you can regain your balance. But a slip of the tongue, you can never get your words back. Be careful how you put them out here. Karma is a hard lesson for all of us. And believe she will pay each and every one of us. In any way, shape, or fashion that we've put into it, we will get back from it. You know, they say karma is a bird. As a bird lives, it eats ants. And after the bird dies, the ants eat it. The understanding of this concept is that time is far greater than any of the rest of us. And in a brief moment, anything in time could change. Those of you who may have power today may have nothing tomorrow. This is why you go through here and put out good. Because it only takes one tree to 
to make a million matches, but it only takes one matchstick to burn a million trees. The words we put out sometimes aren't the best words that we should give anybody, no matter how mad we want to be at the situation. That's something I'll address over the next couple videos of our perceptions. You know, the mind is one of the hardest things to grasp. I like to talk to one of my good friends about this. We consider it our twin glocks, you know, our gift and our curse, because it's what can create our happiness, but at the same time, it's what can ruin us. Sitting alone in silence, being alone, you know, being alone has a power that very few can wield. And sometimes you have to be alone. You have to be able to traverse by yourself and find anything. Honor, knowledge, your own dignity, maybe even the truth. Before you can put back in time where else you want to. And only through your mind can you figure these problems out. But you can only do it yourself. Giving yourself false hope from others, moving from one man to the next, or one girl to the next. It's not you taking any time to yourself to figure out what truly resides in your heart, what it means to you, what the mind needs. You know, the heart and the mind have to equal balance. If they don't, you'll never see the truth, because the mind overcompensates and blinds the heart. But the heart is already blind to begin with, so if you walk with it, we all already know what happens when you go with all your heart. You know, I can't teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. Socrates. And that's why I do this. Because none of us think enough anymore. And without challenging our minds to beautiful concepts, to becoming better, we're going to continue down this downward spiral. Continue down this abyss. So... Remember what you say. Remember what you put out there. Sometimes it takes one moment to change someone's entire life. Sometimes it takes someone's entire life from one moment. And, you know, that's the hardest thing. Something I've lived with for the last 10 years. One moment took everything. But I've learned how to stand on my own feet. I've learned how to dig into my mind and change the interpretation of words to better myself regardless to all the bad that's been given to me regardless to the words that others choose to spit because the only person who can save you in all in the end is you this is your journey it's through your mind you create it twin glocks your happiness and your curse you gotta equal out because if you can't find the good from the bad, it always ends bad. Love you guys. Y'all stay up and stay beautiful. As always, I'll see you around.